Hi guys, welcome back. Right, today we got some assassin bugs sent by Mr. Tim Baxter. Massive, huge thanks to him. Um, we're just going to rehouse them. It's in some nice, fresh, new blood to add to my breeding commune. Um, desperately needed some new blood for ages. I've been looking at shows and no one really sells them apart from me, usually. So, um, obviously, I was looking for new blood. Snap these up while I had the chance. Um, we're just going to reset up the enclosure and add the new assassin box. These ones of Tim, so precious new blood to add to the breeding colony. Now, this is the old one, the old main colony. So, you see, in there, we've got loads of adults in there already. So, what we're going to do, we're going to, as we're adding some new ones in, we're going to give it a bit of a clean out, take out any eggs, and give it a bit of a freshen up. So, take them all out. Now, how do you know you've got eggs? So, you see these little black pebbly little things like that? Eggs. Now what we do usually, we clear out this every now and again and we'll scrape the top layer off. Probably about the first inch because that's loaded with eggy goodness. And then we'll put it into sort of the incubation sort of pay dirt tank that I do. This is the pay dirt, so if you can see in here, loads and loads and loads of eggs. So I can keep this moist and at a regular temperature so that they will breed. We're waiting on loads and loads of hatch. If you look, look in there, loads of eggs in there. There's one just there. So they shine, they're easy to see because they're shiny. So we can keep it sort of moist. That'll help them grow. Plus, when I'm harvesting, it's a lot easier to do it in here rather than the main enclosure where you've got to mess around with the big adults in there. We can just do this every now and again just to keep the... We really drew a big hatch. So hopefully, you can see there's little isopods in there as well. They help clean it up. We'll do a big hatch soon. So we give it all, freshen up, taking the top layer off about the first inch or so. So now we're just gonna put the, I don't know what we'll do, we'll put the new ones in first. New blood is awesome. This one. Three. It's the final one. Four. I'll be happy to wander around. Stuck in that box all night. These are the ones that were in there, so that's five. Let's 
six. assassin bugs and you can see it can make some really gnarly as it's spikes hopefully they're going to bring me loads of babies these are awesome feeders so a big thanks to Tim get me back on the road again I think I needed new blood we had sort of a declining amount of eggs, so I think new blood is definitely the key. You can just see them spikes there, that is gnarly. So these are what we hate to get loads and loads of. These are nymphs. I've got these out of the main enclosure, so I've separated them into a little separate pot of their own for now. And we've got five out of there, so hopefully we're on the verge of a massive... bundle which is always good for me they fund the channel they fund everything so the more assassins the better so also if you want your eggs to hatch substrate's got to be damp not soaking just slightly damp this is them encourage them to lay eggs and if you're going for breeding just do what i do Fail safe usually. Simple basic setup. But these are really cool guys to watch because they're really active all the time. Thanks for watching, guys. So, a massive thanks to Tim. Um, really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Uh, they, these guys. The Assassin Bugs really fund absolutely all of these builds that we do for tutorials on this channel. So if you want ideas how to build some of this funky stuff, please do check out my other videos. Apart from that, guys, please leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notifi notification bell. Notifies you of upcoming videos. Doesn't cost you a penny, but it does mean a lot to me. Apart from that, I shall see you later.